Hey everyone, Passo here and welcome back to another Space Engineers ship review. Today we're going to be looking at the Exodus Space Shuttle, which you can see behind me. This is a ship from the game Destiny 2, if you've played that, it's like a looter shooter. I'm sure most people have heard about that, I don't know why, why I am explaining that to you, but uh, yeah, nonetheless, we'll have a little look at it, it's a cool little shuttle. And uh, yeah, we'll just go around with a little fly around here. As you can see, it's got a pretty simple color scheme, just with the orange and the white there, with a little bit of black. It looks like we've got a bit of gray as well, used for the underside. As you can see, there I've got my lights on, but it doesn't really make all that much of a difference. So I'll just turn those off. Anyways, as you can see, it's a small grid ship. It's quite, uh, it's small for like a larger kind of small grid ship. As you can see, it's got two doors on either side. And it's got these two cool, like, I guess fins or spoilers, not too sure. I guess, yeah, fins, you'd probably call them. But, uh, yeah, I really like the detail they've put into these little things here. Um, it's quite impressive. So here it looks like we've got what looks to be maybe some... Oh, wow, okay. I, I thought that was all just one thing, so I might just go onto the sunny side for this. But looks like we've got some batteries at the back there, at the back there, sorry, with some beam blocks and looks like we've got some other little blocks in there. I might just pull out my welder. We've got some heat vents there, beam blocks, and some light armor slopes. slopes sorry. Uh, but yeah, it's very detailed as you can see. It looks nice. And on the top here, we've just got some beam blocks here as well. And as you can see here as well, we've got the little fins here. And I do like how they've used the little armor panels there just to sort of add a bit more depth in the build, I believe that's what they've done there. Ye no, wait, yes they have. Yes, the uh, armor uh, half panels there. And then at the top here as well, we've got sort of like a black trim, and that just sort of follows the outside there. At the front here, we've got the black there. We've got some glass door blocks there, and I imagine that's because it's at an angle. That's probably to avoid things being damaged. As you can see, we've got the hinge there. So, very nice. At the back here, we've got some very nicely done thrusters as well, using some rotor heads and some cylinders here. We have some sort of like, I guess they're supposed to be like little mini uh, propulsion sort of things, maybe like the, um, I forget what they're called, but the uh, the RCS thrusters, that's what they are. And on the bottom here, it looks like we've got two more of those, not that they actually have any function. We've got three large hydrogen engines here, as you can see, and that looks like it is using the industrial ones, as you can see, with the little tubes and pipes there on them so very nice the main one's sort of housed in this big kind of thing here i do like how this is housed again a lot of detail in this little bit here very subtle detail but yeah it, it uh, definitely pays off a bit we've also got these little black sort of markings on here using the light armor panels as well and we've got the sort of like white with the black underneath the back here i really like the color scheme of this ship and how it all sort of comes together. I think the builder has done a great job with that. Got some other little black lines there for a bit more detail. Got the bridge in there, or the, the, the flight room, whatever you want to call it. And it looks like we've got quite a bit of visibility. We'll see when we go inside. And we've also just got the smooth paint on the, like the smooth skin at the front here. For the block skin, I suppose. At the bottom here as well, we have a little door here, a small merge block, a uh, magnetic landing pad, and What's this? Looks like eight large thrusters to give us some upward thrust there. So yeah, that'll be good if you're ever coming down on a planet pretty quickly. We've also got a s connector here. Sorry, I was about to say small connector, but those don't exist. And yeah, uh, they probably don't like blend in the best just with this like black thing here and then just having the square, but I guess there's not too much you can really do about that. So no reason to... Uh, throw shade on that. I do like the orange on the wing there. Was that on the other side? Yes, it was. Okay, what am I thinking? I think I'm going crazy. Okay, so we'll just go on to the into the exterior here. I might even just adjust the ship just so it is level with the atmosphere here. Now, like last week's ship, which we looked at, which I forget the name of it, but it had a similar issue. Um, actually, no, it might have been the Thunderbirds one, which was a few weeks ago. But uh, yeah, you do have to sort of be moving around with the ship for the gyroscopes to work properly. Otherwise, it's pretty crappy the, um, the way you turn and stuff. But yeah, anyways, that's beside the point. Here we are in the bridge here, as you can see. It's very, very simple, but that never hurt anybody. I'll just go in first person here so you can see. 
Got a nice bit of visibility. No upward visibility there, but that's okay. I don't think this is a combat vessel at all. I don't think, even, think it even has weapons on it. So if you wanted to mod that, you'd probably want to add some uh, glass at the front here and I don't know, maybe even get rid of the nose there. So you can probably just turn it into like a big like glass bubble. But yeah, anyways, uh, we can come to the back here. Now, seeing that it is a space shuttle, I'm not too sure about not having a little, uh, what, like, uh, imagine knowing how to speak English, a, another door here, sorry, like a little airlock sort of thing, but I guess with the small space here, we can't really do that. They've used the beam blocks, it looks like, to make a nice little arcway there, that looks nice, you sort of got like the little indent here, looks very nice, I guess you could imagine like a door coming here, or like sliding across maybe I'm not too sure what is going on here I haven't really played Destiny 2 that much myself and I certainly haven't seen this ship before when I did play it at the back here you can see we've got a sort of lobby area we've got just four seats there with some little tables I guess this is maybe just where you'd bring like civilians and stuff like that not too sure myself at the back here it looks like we've got a bunch going on with computers and all that stuff got our gravity there bunch of analytics which I'm sure means something <laughs> uh, but yeah looks nice anyways here we've got a little med bay thing at the back here we can't quite squeeze through here either so I'll just use my jetpack to sort of get through but yeah we've got a survival kit there and a large cargo container here I'm interested to see what that is that is an air vent in the middle here oh, sorry in the yeah though I guess the middle but in the interior you can see as well they're using some more beam blocks and the little cylinder blocks there, adds a bit more detail, put a skin on this block here, makes it look like there's some stuff going on there, but yeah, no, I mean, even there as well, got some tubes, again, good detail in sort of like a limited space, that's what I do like about this ship, but uh, I'll show you how it flies around now, so just a word of warning, when I spawned this in, it was hurling towards the planet, luckily I was able to get in in time, and I was able to turn the hydrogen thrusters on, so they are off by default. But anyways, I'll just show you the acceleration there. Nothing too spectacular. Slowing down again, not too special there. Imagine when we go up, we're gonna get a bunch of thrust. It might just turn around here just to slow us down a bit quicker. And this is going up. As you can see, we go very fast and we come down very quickly as well as I would hope with all those thrusters there. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all for the movement. I guess I can show you how it rolls. And this is turning without the movement. As you can see, it's very slow. If I move forward and turn, as you can see, we move a lot more agilely. That's a word. Yes, I just made it up. Uh, number two, I would imagine would change the setting for the connector beneath. Number three, merge block. Not too sure what that would do. I imagine this is supposed to come with like a larger small grid rocket thing to get it into space i would think and maybe that's what that does that's it's on the bottom so that's what i would imagine that does and we've got the doors here which open and close there also was the door on the bottom here which i guess you could just use to drop down onto a planet doesn't hurt to have but uh yeah anyways i'm pretty sure that's all for the little review here we'll just crash it into the planet so i'll be right back all right so i've just brought it above the planet here we're in a little sort of valley gully kind of thing and yeah we'll just crash it into the ground down here and we'll see how we go okay unfortunately it looks like we didn't get too good of a crash we just lost the very front of the nose there so i might just take it over to this little hill here and we might just spawn it in there where is it it's over here no, i'll just follow this one into the third person spectator camera here okay now i was really hoping that would roll down the hill but it seems it's just sort of sat down we did lose the fins it looks like the rotors were forced to just close up like that so i mean looks kind of cool i guess if you wanted that as your little design there looks like it's got four wings but uh, yeah, it looks like that might just be it for today's video. Bit of a disappointing crash there, but yeah, if you enjoyed and want to see some more of my ship reviews, you can check out my channel. Um, if you enjoyed this video, you can like and subscribe. That's really helpful. And comment as well. I don't know. I'd like to hear your opinions on these ships and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, have a good one. See ya.